Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today I want to show you guys this tool that I made a few years ago. Uh, what it is, is a 12 ton bottle jack that I've built a frame for that I use these crimping dies and that's what I use to make battery cables, um, any type of cable that I need to crimp an end on is pretty much what I use this for. So what I ended up doing was I had a project where I needed to make a bunch of these cables. So initially I bought this from Harbor Freight and what it is, is just a hydraulic crimper that comes with a bunch of different dies. So I used this for quite a while. I think I've actually bought like three or four of these over the years. Um, they end up going bad, the seals blow out of them. Uh, they do give you extra seals, but I've never really had much luck on actually replacing them and having it work properly. So I ended up buying a couple of these. So that's where I got all the different dies for this air powered hydraulic crimper. So with this here, this is air over hydraulic. So it gets hooked up to the air compressor and I just have a pair of ice grips here that ends up working the hydraulic cylinder so that you could release the pressure and it'll actually suck back down because it has this spring attached. So what I did was I got the cylinder itself and I welded this piece of hex onto the top and I drilled a hole in it that was the same size as the dies. So the dies slip right in and then on the top it's lined up perfectly is another die that also has a hole inside that slips right up in. And with this, I have, I have a rare earth magnet that just kind of sits here. And what it does is it holds this die, the upper die from falling down. So it makes it quick and easy to be able to change the dies. Uh, there's a whole bunch that actually come with that Harbor Freight tool. Um, normally these hydraulic crimpers run a lot of money. Um, it's nothing to pay like a couple thousand dollars for an actual hydraulic crimper for making your own wires. So this was a DIY project that I made um, that ended up turning out really awesome. Uh, I've used this thing so many times, um, it's never failed me. Uh, so to go over a little bit of the build, how I constructed this, like I said, the 12 ton air over hydraulic cylinder, uh, it gets bolted to this main frame. You can see the bolt holes here and in the back. Um, this is an inch and a quarter frame and it is a quarter inch wall. So it's pretty thick. And what I did was I ended up putting gussets in here to strengthen it up even more. And another thing that I ended up doing was we put a regulator onto this set at 35 PSI. Uh, it pretty much crimps anything that you throw at it and it's not gonna bend the frame at 35 PSI with the 12 ton cylinder. So it works out awesome. Um, it's pretty much one of my favorite tools uh, that I've built along with probably the magnetic vise uh, you guys can check that out on my channel as well. But this thing is super useful. Uh, what I have is just a foot pedal down here that the cylinder runs to. So I think I got the foot pedal just off Amazon. Uh, it makes it really convenient for being able to just step on the pedal and be able to crimp your wires. So what I'm gonna do here is I have just a piece of six gauge wire that I need to put some ends on. These are gonna be three eighths uh, terminal lugs. So I'm going to strip the wire down and then show you guys how this thing actually works. So pretty much what I do to figure out how long I need to strip the wire, I'll just take the actual end and just lay it right beside and then I'll just use this cutter to be able to roll it and make the cut and the insulation will pull right off. So 
So I have the wire pushed into the actual connector here. So it's pretty simple. Put it in, line it up, and hit the foot pedal. And that's pretty much it. That's uh, a really strong crimp. It looks professional. I'll put some heat shrink over this and it's a really nice way to be able to make some really strong professional looking cables. So, like I said, I just wanted to show you guys this. It's a pretty cool tool. Um, we use it almost probably weekly in the shop. So it's an awesome tool and saves you quite a bit of money if you make your own. So thanks for watching this video, checking out this DIY crimper. Uh, it's like I said, air over hydraulic. It's got a bunch of different dyes. Uh, it works pretty awesome. So just wanted to share that with you guys and I'll catch you guys next time. Later.